Federal prosecutors want former Chicago Alderman Ed Burke locked away for a decade for his 13 convictions on racketeering and corruption. The request came in late last night with sentencing less than two weeks away. CBS 2 political reporter Chris Ty tells us Burke's team is applying a full court press to keep the man who was once Chicago's most powerful alderman from going to prison. Okay, thank you. Lately, Chicagoans have seen Ed Burke going in and out of court. You know, if, if we're not uh, signed up, I'm not going to uh, do any lifting for this guy. Or captured on undercover camera, squeezing business owners and developers to line his own pockets. Burke's legal team this week, though, presenting the softer side of Chicago's most powerful alderman. Pictures of his decades of good deeds alongside testimonials from hundreds of people, like Misericordia's sister Rosemary. Ed's involvement, she writes, has been a gift to our residents. He shows great respect for every person in our care. Sitting Alderman Nick Spazzato said Ed Burke is a decent man who is the first to share his knowledge and expertise to help others. Burke's lawyers hoping Judge Virginia Kendall agrees to home confinement, not the 10 years behind bars prosecutors want. It would be a powerful and just expression of mercy, Burke's team writes, for an 80-year-old man in the twilight of his life who's given so much of himself to so many and for so many years. The feds say it would be naive to think that there is anything stopping Burke, the consummate political insider, with his coterie of misguided friends and well-wishers from engaging in the same type of conduct in conjunction with public officials in the future. I would uh, guess that it's going to be somewhere around 18 to 24 months will be the ultimate decision. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller says Burke's lack of contrition doesn't help, but preserves an appeal. He says the judge here may be looking at the case of another convicted Chicago alderman, Ed Verdoliak. His initial sentence 15 years ago was later reversed by a higher court, something Judge Kendall won't want to repeat. The public court frankly blasted the judge for giving probation on a public corruption case, ordered resentencing in front of a different judge, which is highly unusual. And when they came time for resentencing, that new judge sentenced the former alderman to the penitentiary. Others writing on behalf of the former alderman, former U.S. Attorney Dan Webb and former CBS2 News anchor Bill Curtis. Judge Kendall still weighing the Burke team's request for a retrial or an acquittal on some charges. Burke slated to be sentenced here one week from Monday. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.